<laughs> Sorry about that. I uh, I saw that when I when I pushed the button to record the video, did something over an OBS that doesn't normally do, which is still happening. Hold on, let's just get rid of this. There we go. There we go. Am I gonna edit this out? Absolutely not. That would be unprofessional. I like you guys see the truth. I get messed up. Life's messy. It's how it is. Anyway, we ding last last hard dang and romp, but we ding dong bing bonged. Let's get into it. I'm so I, I predict a free time day is coming up. Good morning, everyone. Get ready. Yup. Good morning, everyone. God, it's hot in here. I turned my fan up a little bit in the background, so if you hear that, I apologize. I'm not doing anything about it though. <laughs> yes, I will leave the area, and I will head to morning breakfast. Hey, look, it's Owie. Hey, look, it's Bakugan. What's up, Owie? Good morning, Hina. Hey, Makoto. Good morning. <laughs> hey, so yesterday you were kind of cool. Oh, what do you mean? Yeah. You know, when you said Alter Ego was your friend. So I was thinking um... the same thing. But when stuff like that happens, I never know how to say what I'm thinking. You got it. So I'm really glad you said it for me. So thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <clears throat> yeah. You're usually, like, totally normal, but when the time comes, bam, you bust out your special power. I mean... I mean, even before yesterday, when stuff comes up, it's like you always do something about it. Even before yesterday, you're talking about the class trials and stuff? I mean, that's just, stuff is like, I just kind of took care of itself, you know? Hmm. It totally didn't. Um, With the, your power and Sakura's and everyone else, I'm sure we gotta get out of here. Yeah, I think you're okay. right. I am right, all right? Now that we've got that fighting spirit, let's go grab some grub. She's right, even if the road is long. If we don't keep moving forward, we'll never reach our goal. Bakugan, my man. How's it going? What do you want? To say hi to my good friend. Oh well, the breakfast meeting. You honestly took me to go. Right. As long as I'm here. Should ask Bakugan what made of the stuff Alter Ego told us. Actually, no, I'd better not. A surveillance coward would catch us, that's for sure. <clears throat> what? So. Oh well. well. Goodbye. Bye. Alright, see ya, Bakugan. He's gone. He's Bakugan. That would be a really funny joke if that was actually his name. <clears throat> Ooh, got a little something in my throat. The gang all here? That's the whole gang. Wait a minute! That's that's not the whole gang. You've replaced Kyoko. <laughs> what are you staring at? Oh, Toko. What's your problem? What do you think your eyes will not rot by just looking at me? Fine, don't what? look at me. You got uh, some issues, girl. I think you're just surprised to see what the breakfast meeting mm -hmm. is all. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you've joined um, us. Yeah, what made you change your mind? Bakuga said he <laughs> likes a girl to have some meat on her bones, so I'm gonna start eating. I'm gonna force it down into my stomach. I'm gonna eat till I drop. Okay. I refuse to lose. That was a challenge. Gina. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh, she said she'd come by later. Later? You know? Yeah, after you leave. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. Mm -hmm. I know I said she wanted you to show her some backbone, but you didn't have to show her that much. Just a you're dirty, Makoto. Dirty, present of dirty. You just were complimenting me outside. You don't just understand. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not like that. Just shut up already, Hina. You've been running your filthy mouth like that all morning. Filthy? Me? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm not filthy. It's no use denying that we can all see how disgusting you are. Shut up. You and that lusty body of yours. Night after night, you go out to fulfill your... In Ill illicit club meetings. Oh. Hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. Your midnight <laughs> sextra <laughs> sextra curricular activities only put us in even more danger. Please. Stop it. You'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping that. Um, oh my god. Oh goodness gracious. Oh my god. We're just gonna speed through this. Stop. What is wrong with you? No more meetings for you. Bastard. So would you rather have your black eye on the left or the right? Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, Let's leave on. Coco alone. She's got a little funny from our pent-up know? frustration. Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already, well, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, of course I want to get things better as soon as possible. With everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Sakura, we're talking about it! Hey, Sakura, mm -hmm. what is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah. 
Ah, oh, now that Kyoko's dumped him, I'm gonna try to win Sakura's heart. Are you in heat, Makoto? <laughs> Don't. Yo, what's with this episode? I'm not digging it. Don't care. There, this is get out of here. Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's transformed into a wild beast. Prime Minister, wild beast of beastopia. Why is this happening to me? Well, can I talk? Wait till tomorrow. I'd like to get some rest today. Oh. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? Oh, are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. No, nothing serious. I just had a minor aches and pains. Oh, is that... Oh, from our sparring match. It was because of the battle. Um. But it must be pretty bad for you to have to get rest. Are you sure you're okay? Mm. I'm sure a protein shake and some, some sleep will get me back on my feet. Got the burpees, man. Ah! You got it! That's true, protein is good for all kinds of stuff. Hey. You guys like worship protein. It's like your god. Okay. <laughs> Wakoda, I don't know if it's a, if you, what, if you want to talk with Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry. Sorry. You know? But for now, let's eat. <sighs> eat? I'm kind of nervous. Uh -huh. huh? How come? What's so your I don't usually problem? eat in front of other people. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I'd eat by myself. What, the heck? what about your family? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I used to live with my dad, my mom, and my mom. Hmm? Huh? You had two moms? <laughs> Well, that's just how things were. That's like a serious issue. <laughs> well, I mean, usually it's not a serious issue, but it sounds like you had... Well, is it like a... Well, I guess well, she'll probably tell us. <laughs> just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. How dare you speak to me with that disgusting <laughs> mouth of yours. Stop saying stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and eat. <laughs> if I don't, Kyoko will never show up. <sighs> Pretty miserable situation, man. <laughs> I scarped down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. Not digging it. I'll have to wait till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw, but in a way I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura and accuse her of something. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh, I mean, we're obviously going to try and find Kyoko. Um, if that... I don't know if that's going to go over well. Hmm... Alright, no one's... Oh, someone's on this floor, but it's the Kyoko in her room, that would suck. No, Sakura's in her room, because she's sleepy. That, make, that makes sense. No one's here. No one's here. No one's here. I'm sure everyone's on the fourth floor. Yeah. 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 Alright. Where are you? You're around, the map said so. Don't let me hang out with this guy. I'm gonna- there you are. Yoko! Anyway. Please talk to me. F. What if I, like, get persistent? Anyway. Anyway. Okay, I don't think this game's got persistency built into it. Alright, looks like you're the man of the hour, my friends. Yo! <laughs> What's a vibe, bro? It better not be my life. Don't kill me. Help me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's hang out with Hero. Well? I don't know what cosmogony is. Oh, okay, the origin of the universe. Hero and I grew a little close that day. I'd like to give him a present? Yeah, sure, let's see what we got. Anything funky? Hmm. Astral boy doll. I got a feeling that might not be up his alley. Hmm. You seem like a crystal skull kind of guy. You're saying I can have this? All of a sudden, I feel invigorated. I feel awake. I feel like I like you. Oh, I'm glad. Could it be? Hey, Makoto. You know what I think? You and me meeting like this it wasn't a coincidence. Hmm. I've got some good news for you. I'm going to give you a psychic reading at a huge discount. A discount? How about that? Normally it's $1,000 for two hours. For you, let's call it $900. That's only a $100 discount. Even that's way too expensive. Don't be mean. Hey, come on. You should count yourself lucky. That's the ultimate clairvoyant as well in the entire future. So are you right pretty often? Well, I sure am. At the bare minimum, I've got a 20% chance of accuracy. 20% that sounds pretty sketchy. For real, don't make that face. Didn't you hear what I said? 20% of the time I'm right. Every time. That includes natural disasters, election results, you name it. Don't you realize how amazing that is? Uh, how about that? Okay, fine, I'll give you a special trial run. After all, I've already seen what the future has in store for you. Well, when did you see well? it? Well? 
<laughs> you won't believe what I saw. It would appear that the mother of your children and the mother of my children are the same woman. I refuse, denied, don't like it. I'm right, right? Doesn't matter if you don't like it, that's just the way it is. 20% accuracy, you so. Know? At least. I pray to everything holy that you're wrong. Please be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now then, since that was a special trial run, I'm afraid I can't apply the discount. That'll only be $1,000, please. Don't worry, you can pay me after we get out of here. Wait, hold on. Well, there's no way you're gonna be right, right? Hmm. If you like, I can do a reading right now to see whether my reading was right or not. Naturally, additional fees will apply. <laughs> Think of that, and okay, let me know as soon as you're ready for my services again. Oh, he's gone. Do I have to get him? I don't have enough in my bank account. I can't bring myself to pay for something like that. I can see how people could fall for that kind of cycle, though. Please, whoever's listening, I beg you to whatever else happens, don't let him be right. Your support card's been updated. You just unlocked the skill Lost in Thought. Hey, I earned it. Pat, pat, pat. Back to my room for a little bit. All right. More free time, I imagine. Yep, yep. I'm gonna go to the shop, but I don't remember what floor it's on. I wanna guess the second floor. Wow, everyone's down here. That's wild. Uh, anyway, the shop is on the second floor. I don't remember. No, it's on this floor. Okay, cool. Come in here. Give me some goodies. The mechanic I keep forgetting about. Yeah, man. I'm thinking 10 coins at a time. Hey, I feel like I had that already. All right, fine, 20 coins at a time. 0% chance of a repeat item, let's go. I got, I don't know what that is, hair extension? I'm gonna go until it's zero. There it is, 15 coins. I have to look this way to see it. My camera's blocking it on OBS. Oh, I got a red thing, let's go. Send it. Oh yeah, those look like pants. Lucky, super lucky. Oh, another thing. Oh, another golden gun. Kyoko loves those. Lucky. I'm so lucky. Oh my god, I'm super lucky. They just keep going. Hey, bird seed. Let's go. Send it. Oh, we got a book, baby. Lucky! Let's go. <laughs> I wish the percentage applied to the luckies. We got that already, too. Send it. Watch! <laughs> Am I lucky? Nope. Mono mono. Low boy. Is that a su Yo, lucky! <laughs> this is so lame. <laughs> what do you got for me? Another golden gun? Ooh, that's earmuffs. And they're cute. All right. It's gonna cost a pretty penny to not get any repeats. 22 coins. Six shades. Lucky! <laughs> So very lucky. Yo, we got a freaking Game Boy. Send it, 24 coins. I got a chest. Running out of coins here. What is that? Oh, I felt like it was gonna be a big lucky moment. I think we're down to the last, like, two plays. We got a flashlight. And we're gonna cap it off. Last spin. What are we getting? That's a ball of shit. <laughs> that was a literal ball of feces. 
Not what I meant to click. Ugh. Let's see, uh, let's check them out. Let's see what we got. I just sneeze, sorry. All right. We got glasses. G sick. Red scarf. Pants. Oh, you know who would like those? Uh, the gothic chick. Oh, man. The whole gothic section. <laughs> She's dead, though. All right. Adorable reactions collection. Rose whip. The golden gun. Mr. Fastball. Crystal skull. Prince Shugatoko's globe. Oh, it's a globe? It just really looks like poop. The fun plane. Pagan dancer. Tips and tips. Someone's graduation album. Pumice! Small light. Voice changing bow tie. Cat dog magazine. Insane in the membrane. Kyoko, please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, Kyoko. F. <laughs> All right. There was someone I talked to you already. There was someone in here, right? Owie, right? Owie's in here. Owie. Okay. Each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each team player is true team. You got it. That's a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Masuo. You gotta do the same thing so we can survive. Should I hang out with Hina for a while? You got yeah. it. Yeah. Wanna go for a run while I relieve, <laughs> relieve some of the stress? Sure. He and I went for a light run through the school. He and I grew a little closer today. I'd like to give her a gift. You got it. Let's see. I feel like Hina's gonna love. You know what? You gotta be a genius here. You gotta do next level plays, right? We just went for a run. And what's the one thing everyone wants after a run? Mineral water. <laughs> you super stoked? Yeah. Oh, you look sad. Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. I'm stuck here. Can't do any sports. Can't do anything. I'm sick of it. I want to get out under the sun. Do some laps. Run a marathon. I want to do some real sports. You know, calm down, what okay? I can't do anything in here. I can't move around. I'm going to die like a bunny rabbit. But I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. That's terrible. Whatever. I'm going to die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think it's a little extreme? What the heck? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But seriously, I can't sit still, you know? Why else would I have joined six sports teams in school? Six? That's right. Yeah, track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one? The swim team. She got her main sport and ran out of juice. I think it's gotta be swimming. I mean, it's worth swimming, right? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in a pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard for you to do that many sports, even for you? If I can't move, I'll shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A challenge. I mean, what I really love about sports isn't winning, you know? It's having a fight and struggle and give it all you got to reach the top. It's that excitement, that fear you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. When you finally reach the goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was how hard she fought, could fight and struggle. Um, so that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop? Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, and even if it means I'm a super gold spaz. She just called herself, okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Excuses? Hey, when did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in here? Oh. <gasps> That's a challenge. You made it a challenge. Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. If I want to get the gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like okay. that. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. All right, I think I'm going to go do some push-ups in my room, like maybe a thousand or something. Almost before she was done talking, he had talked off like a bat out of hell. She recovered exactly as fast as strong as I would have expected. Port card updated. Maximum skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Ah, uh, it's nighttime, right? Time for a sleepy sleep? Big sleepy? Big sleepy time? Time for me to sleepy? Can I get some sleepy in? 
It's a ding dong bing bong, baby. Attention. Yeah, it's Attention. nighttime. This sounds different. Please gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. I was going to say a second. I'm so familiar with the... Quickly, quickly, Good quickly, quickly, evening. quickly. To the gym. All right. To the gym. Out the front door. The gym is this way, right? I'm not crazy. I knew Kyogo was gonna cold shoulder me so hard. I probably would have just told her. <laughs> Why couldn't I just be like, can you give me like a minute to gather more evidence? Did I go the wrong way? This is not where I'm supposed to be going. This way. The gym. It's been a while. I think the gym's this way. I'm pretty confident. And then I bank this turn. Oh yeah, that's the gym, baby. This is gonna be a new set of motivation, right? Like some kind of like, if you kill someone, I'll give you a billion dollars. Hey, Sagar, what's up? Huh. You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you gonna go in? However, I have a bad feeling about this. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together after all. Sagar? Well, then. Makoto, if something happens to me, Hina. Huh? I'm sorry. No, never mind. So then. Um. Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Uh, Sakura? Bruh, I mean, it's coming to the, for the forefront. Everyone must have heard the announcement. Once we were all gathered in the gym, it began. Ooh, a little cinematic. This game's got a really neat art style. It's like almost 2D. Almost 3D, somewhere in between. Call it 2.5D. Well? Okay, let's get this show on the road. You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't mm -hmm. you? Huh? That's right. You guys all together present another motive, right? Is he right? Huh? We have to go through this again? <laughs> oh, no, not again. I can't take it anymore. I see. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally seem just how low on the totem pole of life you really are. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. The reason I got a deal here is so I can get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? Why? We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. I told you yesterday, did an eye an eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Stop beating around the bushes. Tell us what you're talking about. Well, you've already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Yeah, so what about it? Well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. What? So guess what? The spy is actually Sakura. He said so openly. He made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal, even though he just revealed a huge secret. What? What did you just say? He said the size spy is Sakura. What, what are you talking about? There's, there's no way Sakura was a spy, right, Sakura? Huh? Sakura? <laughs> I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to the hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is Kills, up to you. Chills, Roaster, boiler, kills. killer, don't kill her, whatever, I man. Can't wait. I can't Either way, wait. I can't wait. And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he'd been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Um, so, what does this mean? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us with a mad what mastermind? What are you saying? There's no way. But that is what the stuffed animal said, right? Wrong. Well, You're he's wrong. wrong. There's just no hey. way. Well, Sagara, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Ah, F. Huh? What? Oh, then he was being no. serious for serious? Ogre's been working for the mastermind? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. So you've been lying to all of us this, this time? Huh? It's not true. Sagara was probably being controlled. There's gotta be some some reason she didn't have a choice. She did. She was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure he was right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Sagara had no choice but to do what she was told. Yeah. Well, what? You're talking like you know that for a fact. Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting, and that's where I heard it. And Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the mastermind. I see. You saw all that? The mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the mastermind. What? 
Which means Nagara isn't our enemy, she's a friend who we can't trust without question. Is that <laughs> it? Ridiculous. You live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? Not possible. She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. He's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. Hmm. How can we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff and she's still like, doing exactly what the mastermind what wants. Sakura would never do that. <laughs> okay, and Sakura, you really have cut ties with the mastermind. Tell us who they really are. <laughs> Well, sorry. sorry, I can't. Even I don't know that. What? You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. Please. She's telling the truth. You have to believe don't her. Make me repeat Shut up. I'm not finished questioning her. Come on. Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the mastermind order you to do? Ugh. I was told Ugh. to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. Did I just mute my microphone? Hello? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> the weight of those words. I see. I see. So even now, you've taken aim on one of our lives. Wrong. You're, You're wrong. wrong. I'm telling you, Sagara wouldn't do that. You don't have to. You don't have to yell. We can hear you just fine. Don't you have our inside voice? That's terrible. It's you're not listening to me. Wait. Please stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. I have to take full responsibility for this. However, how do you intend to do that? Huh. By destroying the mastermind? What? I... I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Hold on, what do you mean, if you both go down? Hina. Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. Huh? What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. What? But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But, but... Sakura. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym, and then... That's the ding dong bing ball, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> That's the sleepy announcement. The okay? hmm. Well, it's night time. We should all go to bed. No Hold on. This whole thing with Sakura Don't is over. Myself. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. No, Sakura is not our enemy. Why? Why? Why doesn't anyone understand her? What? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really what was. Th that's... Calm down. Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? But... Anyway... Go to your room, cool down, we can continue this discussion tomorrow. Kyoko, will you let me talk to you about the fact that I didn't tell you now? <laughs> ah, we're all in a stinky mood, bedtime. <laughs> Sakura is the spy, she's the traitor. Yakuya said Sakura is the enemy. She's among us. But he's wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? Couldn't tell you. So, someone's gonna die and we're gonna now think it's Sakura, which is not what the plan that I thought earlier was. <laughs> Oh, the game of life he just got after his dude he's got way too much stuff in this room like it's absolutely insane the poster waves i'm now seeing the calendar in the back it waves every now and again there it goes but i don't because i'm a bear Bing bong. bro it is so hot in my room i don't know why probably because it's summertime i probably have something to do with it good morning I'm yep, yep 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 morning yeah, hurry up and get to the dining hall is right. Kyoko, talk to me, please! <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have told you. Maybe. Kyoko, good morning. Please, still ignoring me, surely that mad, but actually, it's not just Kyoko. Everything's on Akuma summoned us last night. The atmosphere around here has gotten real heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. Uh, nothing else in the passion except with Kyoko as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm trying, bro. I don't know if I deserve this cold of a shoulder, personally. <laughs> uh, um... Oh, Makoto, are you okay? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> you were late, so we were worried about you. <laughs> what a dullard. Toko, Byakuya, what are you guys doing here? What the heck? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Such don't ignorance. make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's oh. tool. The Mastermind, are you talking about Sakura? That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. Threat? What is this? Why? Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. What did you stupid. say? Stupid. This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible. 
Uncle. It is stupid. You're a stupid Wait. idiot. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sagara was the spy to what us? The heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However, that may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion, the hatred. In other words. In other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? But... That, that's not what I'm trying to do. It's just, I mean, how can you guys believe guys to believe Sakura again? <sighs> if she really can beat the mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in my what mind. Idiot, you re you'd really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? <laughs> it wouldn't matter. Huh? What? If Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Byakuya. <laughs> In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. Slap. What the hell? Yo, owie slapped him. You disgust me. Yeah, me too, bro. You're... you're a monster. To say something like that? I feel like Owie's gonna die. It should have been you. Oof. Who? What, which of the many people? You should have been the one to die! Eek. What? I should have died? Hm. Interesting. Interesting. Then you are planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead, try it. I dare you. That's how it works here, after all. What is this? You think I can, can't do it? Hina, calm down. That's right. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants, and that's exactly what Zagora doesn't want. What's wrong? Lose your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. It's all falling apart. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> that stupid cat, how dare she? She could die a thousand times, not a million. But she's just another hysterical little girl, hardly worth my attention. Just a second. It's what people call having feelings, Bagia, and all you can do is mock them for it. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning, some of that attitude is going to come back and bite you hard. I don't have time to play. And with I will you. happily elude its attempts. Ugh. So, um, you know, how um, about we, uh, eat? Or maybe now's not a good time. <laughs> Without a word, each one of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. I got a feeling today's free time might be a little boring. <laughs> Woo! So, what should I do today? <laughs> uh, not go to the bathroom. Damn, when I go to the bathroom, it's still like Sayaka died in there. <laughs> Leave the area? Yeah, sure. Um, well, everyone's in their rooms, right? Let's go check on, uh, Sakura. This is Sakura's room. I don't have anything I need to talk to her about right now. Okay, how about Aoi? All right, I guess we just don't give a crap about anyone. <laughs> they are in their rooms, right? Oh, according to the map, they are not in their rooms. All right. Everyone's on the new floor again. All right, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna talk to Kyoko if she'll let us. Otherwise, we're talking to Sakura. Seems like a good plan. Yoko, I'm trying very hard to apologize for something I feel like I don't even need to apologize about. Anyway. You kind of suck. <laughs> All right, where's, where's Sakura in this one? One of these rooms? Guess it wasn't this one. I think it was actually the chem lab. Open up the map again. Yeah, chem lab. School's got a weird layout, man. Lots of columns. Hey, Sakura, what's going on? I'm sorry. Yeah, hang out, Sakura. <laughs> I see. You know, I don't feel like talking. You'll still stand by me. <laughs> so I don't understand you, Makoto. Sure, why not? Let's just chill. Yeah, I'll give her a present. Oh my God, I don't know if I've got anything as as awesome as she'd like, but uh, let's see.
The fresh bindings. You probably like these, right? You wear a lot of bindings. You really want to give me something so splendid? You know, I'm not quite sure, but you sound, um, remind me of him. Sorry. sorry, I forgot I said that. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> anyway, I feel a little better now. Thank you. Seeing as I were so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Yo, that was such an easy interaction, bro. Quick, like, here's some bandages. Have a good day. Plenty of time. All right. I don't really want to hang out with Toko or Bakugan, but they're like the only unique ones left, and I got a feeling Toko won't talk to me. I mean, I didn't, I didn't Kyoko, but Toko was right there, hence the mistake. Alright. We're gonna try for Kyoko again, as we do every time. She'll get over it eventually, I hope. The multiple map options makes this game so annoying. The dressing room. I was like, I thought I just went into the laundry. All right, so we'll try this real quick. She'll be like, please leave. And I'll be like, I'm really trying here, boss. Hey. Go away. All right. Can I talk to my dear friend? All right, well. I'm gonna- I'm gonna go for Byakugan. You suck. <laughs> Brother! <laughs> What's going on? Sakura and Hina, finally some action. Some things are starting to become interesting. What do you want? Oh, I didn't see you standing there. Do you need something? Hmm, should I talk to Byakugan for a while? Yeah, man, what's up? That's fine. Fine. I don't mind you allowing me to indulge my attention. I hope you appreciate this. Spend <laughs> some time with Byakuya. Hey, yeah, you're a little closer now. I'll give him a gift. Sure. I have no idea what this guy would want. Hmm. He seems like he might like the ball of shit. Like, no, no choke. <laughs> and these are all the things I got from winning the games. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the shit ball. Here you go. I see. Now this is a rare moment coming from a noble family. I've never been exposed to such a vulgarity. Interesting. I think I'll keep it. Yeah, he liked the shit ball. So, in other words. So, to be clear. Being the ultimate affluent progeny is one of my many talents. Some people think I can rely on the care and protection of the Tagami name. Oh, this is a monologue or something? <laughs> but I don't rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's savior. The Tagami Corporation reaches across the world, true, but I will take us to even greater heights. It is expected of me, naturally, after all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. <laughs> In other words, even among the Togami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is just justified, I assure you, it comes from the battles I've fought and won. Battles? I am personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from the Togami family assets. How the heck did you make that much In money? The stock market. GameStop, you know. About buy and sell shares, assets, space of the market trends all within a single yes. day. Surely even someone as simple-minded as you has heard of this technique, so he buys and sells stuff on the stock market doing everything in a single day. I think that's called... Day trading. Talking about day trading, right? You were able to make four billion dollars doing that? That's right. Well, I first started doing it to keep myself occupied, and before I knew it, there it was. It's not really that big a deal. <laughs> I'd say it's a super big deal. Wait, bro, are you our high school is even allowed to buy in stocks? Dude, I'm Bakugan Tamagotchi. <laughs> is that meant to be an explanation? Mm. Four billion dollars is nothing to the Tsugami Corporation, but for personally, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of a modern day nobility. You know, Byakuya, maybe we start calling you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, I don't do that anymore. It was so simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. <laughs> Jeez, do you really un do, you, do you realize how insulting that sounds to the rest <laughs> of us? Of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident. We're like worlds apart, galaxies apart. Let's use report card got upgraded and our maximum skill points look up. Hey, look at you go. All right, that wasn't too bad. Togo would have been probably awkward as heck. 
Is it nappy time? Time for naps? That's a ding dong bing bong baby, so unless we're getting called to the gym, it's nap time. Hmm. <clears throat> yep, 10 p.m. Nighttime. Okay, Alright. Good night, moon. Oh, you hope nothing happens tonight? I got bad news, buddy. But that bad news is gonna wait until after this episode of the Markuma Theater. Ah! <laughs> There's more crabs! I don't care about any of the crab stuff, honestly. It's just like, it's just like, it's, it's like a bunch of gobbledygook. And that's the secret origin story. Hope you guys are paying attention. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna let you guys go. Thanks so much for joining. It's been another episode of Dang and Rob. I hope you liked it. If you do, click that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, click that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking about things. We're gonna be back real soon. I'm I'm prepared for a dead body to happen, maybe at the very beginning of the next episode, but I'll have to wait till the next day. See ya.